Hey folks, um, back again. Uh, this time I'm going to show you a demo of the SPS 9700 uh, UHD screen. Um, I'm going to um, play a short video quick clip of uh, the wonderful Gal Gadot. Um, um, probably sets this woman alive for me, uh, except for my, uh, my, my girls, um, <laughs> of course. Um, okay, let's get on with that. And this is on zero volume, so I'm going to do up it by 10 every couple of seconds. That's 10. This is recording off the uh, camera mic. All the time. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Life is good, but it can be better. So why shouldn't it be? Forty. All you need is to watch it. Halfway. Finally having everything you always wanted. I can save today. 60 is going up. You can save the world. Stay. No. Just a little vibration I think from the laptop. I want in return. Everyone must see. More and the laptop. I see. I won't need you. You know what you need to do. Nice. Born from life. Okay, let's blow up. So how good? Great, this is not what you think. Okay, I'll turn it down if the neighbors is gonna uh, blow their uh, ears off. Um, it's Atmospherically is fantastic to feel around the room. Um, how does it feel the screen at the moment? Um, it's not hot. It's cool. Uh, it's solid. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. this is solidly built. I mean, uh, you got um, yeah aluminium at, at the back, and this panel is like Gorilla Glass at the front. I don't know what version it is, but this. It's a super duper sharp screen. Um, as you can see, it's um, it's stunning if you stand in front of it. I, I don't know how it looks in front of the camera lens. Uh, uh, I, the studio setup I have here is not it's it's not uh, fantastic. It's just uh, um, just trying to demonstrate this to you and see how it this goes. Um, so more details about the screen. Um, it's we'll be going to. Uh, the manufacturing is made by Sharp Corporation, so it's a sharp screen. Uh, device is SHP14D6, okay, it's a bit boring that is. Um, pixel density is um, 266 ppi, um, uh, which is clear enough to see the, the text. The, the, the text on the screen is super sharp when you look at it in front of it. Um, it's clear, it's crystal clear. clear. Uh, it, it, amazing to read through, um, and it's the manufacturing date is week five, twenty twenty. So uh, February, I guess f February, maybe February twenty twenty. Is it? So uh, make sure you uh, um, you can test your screen using a mon monitor test application, which you can get from the Microsoft App Store. Um, this screen works perfectly. I tested it. Nothing wrong with it. Um, colors were there. Uh, no dead pixels. Um, a touch screen worked perfectly. Um, you can test it out yourself uh, if there's any 
uh, things that are not working on your screen in any areas or any dead pixels you can check out if, if there is just um, contact there and uh, get it replaced um, uh, so I ran a diagnostic test on uh, the colors accuracy on this so sRGB got 100% Adobe RGB got 100% uh, DCI-P3 95% BT21 77% and the human eye is 44% um, which is great uh, good enough um, so uh, the next thing I want to show you is how you can test your screen is working if the areas are working so I'll go in paint open up a new page set up for your screen size resolution and just use your fingers to go across the screen sometimes I, it, this works um, it's just a simple test to find out any any areas that are bro um, not working especially at the sides um, I don't think you can get the, the, uh, the top half of the screen might need to uh, find another way to do that but yeah you can touch the buttons to see you know, and go through it and probably through full screen and do it but uh, that's, that's just display you're just, just displaying it there, that there um, how much power does the screen draw is interesting um, so at the moment uh, in real life uh, full power or what full brightness I have now is uh, going to consume 20 watts per uh, 20, 20 watts uh, so you want, might want to set that in power saving mode uh, if you're going to do that uh, if you have that on the lower screen brightness let's take it down it's 5 to 6 watts that's the lowest screen brightness you might see some glare um, reflected to you by the light um, as I said in previous videos that um, let's set it halfway uh, if you're a third person looking at it and you're not using the laptop you might see glare if you're using the laptop there's less glare um, yes it's supposed to be non anti effective um, but uh, uh, it, it's not totally is you know what I mean um, it would be good if you had it matted but this is how it's made um, there's nothing you can do as, unless you uh, turn on the brightness all the way up and uh, that's to stop the glare um, uh, yeah it's, it's your preference so uh, uh, how, you, how you like the screen um, you, on the 17 inch UHD model you're going to get the uh, non anti reflective screen uh, and the Full HD one doesn't come with that just bear that in mind um, I would get the UHD screen any time I would have a full HD screen because of the touch screen capabilities and um, yeah it's, 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 you can use both it's, on the XPS 15 I thought to myself was it really needed for a small size screen which it was like a 13 or 14 inch laptop touch screen um, I, and I was having problems with that uh, which didn't give me a good print impressions but after getting this um, and having a wider you know a bigger monitor size uh, it is worth I think uh, getting this touch screen on that basis because you've got large screens real estate and it's it, it's fun to play around uh, with the touch um, if you want to use it sometimes the one thing you must must get for this screen is and for your laptop to clean the fingerprints and um, sweat that comes off your hands, uh, uh, oils, wherever you want, um, is a great clean cloth. So I got, uh, I got a great clean cloth. I don't know. I'm not promoting this, but uh, I use this to clean glasses, my glasses, the TV screen, um, my mobile phone screen. It, it, it's super. Keep, keep, it's worth investing in that. I paid two pounds for it, and um, it, I thought it was a really good bargain. Uh, I don't know. All right, um, the screen. Good points is um, final thoughts is stunning colors, sharp sharpness, fine details. Text is amazing to look at. Um, it's like you get the sharp edges on the text. Uh, 
I think it's better than the Apple ones, um, which you see on the IPS screens, uh, or up there with the Apple ones. So in my view, it's, it's, it's the sharpest I've ever seen. Um, colors are accurate. Um, great f uh, photographers. I mean, if you got uh, uh, great pictures, this would look stunning on it. If you, sh if you show your clients this, uh, to be amazed on the color accuracy. Um, a video as well, video is amazing, you got 4, 4K on the screen, uh, well, it's not 4K but it's UHC, 4K is higher than, I think it's higher than that. Um, and yeah, yeah you, well, if you show a 4K video on the screen, it's, it's, it's or watch 4K, uh, it's breathtaking. Uh, you got Dolby Vision as well, so that's an added bonus of uh, colours and um, Adjusting to sound, maybe it's Dolby Vision, or uh, I got it mixed up. Um, you get a fair, uh, cinematic theme about it. You know, you feel like you're in that inner space. Um, the screen is big, which I like. Uh, great for touching. Um, uh, good, good for working every day. Uh, gaming, multimedia, watching movies. But they, you're even running your Word documents or your PowerPoint, uh, anything Office documents you have. Uh, it's just it's just a delight. The one thing I would say if you have it at this one is the resolution. Not all applications are uh, displayed in 4K. You might see the window really small in some of them. So uh, it's, it's 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 up to the software developers of the application to adjust it or maximize it to. Um, develop new versions to adjust it to 4K because it's probably uh, made for low versions or you can um, uh, what, what I did on this laptop I'll just show you a trick is um, just mi minimize all this okay, that didn't work let's do basic uh, what I'm trying to sh try and show you if I close all these windows down is uh, And uh, personalized display. I've I changed the set, the text size to two hundred fifty percent. So it gives uh, it makes the text bigger. It helps with um, adjustments of uh, lower application screens um, if they if they're too small to see the text. So because you're running it. Uh, to double the, re the resolution of a uh, HD screen, like which is almost 19, 1920 by uh, uh, twelve hundred, I think. So uh, that's just a tip. Um, uh, webcam, you got that thin bezel. Uh, I won't say much about the webcam. It's uh, it's, it's 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 pretty poor. Um, it gives you too much um, red noise, or uh, no, well, yeah, you, you you look at yourself and you look, you, you, it's a bit, the colours are too red, um, and there's too much noise ambience at the background. It's 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 okay for Skype meetings, um, uh, or your Teams meetings or web conferences you use. It's it's not the best, which is um, one of the uh, uh, bad points about. The screen, or they kind of fit it out with a better webcam. Um, it's, 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 it's really uh, shocking. Um, it could be a battery drain, as I said. If you have it um, at a full brightness, uh, it, drain, it will drain 20 watts uh, from the screen, so your battery could go, could go down a lot. So be just be manage that appropriately. Uh, put it in pay, power saving mode. Um, uh, yeah, probably add black themes to your screen um, uh, to reduce the colours uh, to get that one percent or two percent brightness back or uh, power back. Um, and the glare, yeah, there's nothing you really can do about the glare. The, the screen is made like a, a gloss um, look, and you will get glare. Uh, but uh, it's a trade-off. Um, 
for me, I, uh, the glare is not um, uh, affecting me, impacting me on my work or working with the computer. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, uh, you can uh, adjust the uh, brightness uh, enough up to uh, sixty percent or seventy percent, and uh, you won't see much glare um, or reflectivity in the background. Uh, when I did my first video on this, uh, uh, I had the windows open at the back, uh, so uh, and the sun was beaming on, on this on, on on the screen to show a lot of <laughs> reflectivity. So uh, and uh, yeah, lots. Uh, I didn't like it, and lots of other people didn't like it. So uh, uh, I, I got rid of that video. <laughs> um, okay, so. That's the summary of that. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, if you can click, uh, click and like. I did a lot of research on this uh, and uh, put this video together. Uh, it takes time and um, yeah, lots of things. I, I like to do more for you guys to uh, test it out. Um, uh, I'm beginning lots of my tracks. What I'm trying to say now what, um, is, if you have any comments, uh, let me know. I'll uh, be happy to just send you a fr friendly reply and um, uh, um, um, help you whether make a decision with your laptop or uh, to buy it or not buy it. Um, yeah, uh, subscribe and help out the channel. Uh, at the moment, I'm small. Hopefully, one day uh, become a world superstar. <laughs> anyway, I won't think about that. Um, all right, that's it for now. So uh, I'll be back soon. Take care, folks. Bye.